you know, Peter, oh. you, you're in the Boston area. You, you've got season tickets uh, at Fenway Park for years. What does David Ortiz mean to the city of Boston? Well, I do this in two, two parts. One is in the game. And it was 2005 in, I think, May, a really warm, beautiful Thursday afternoon. They were about three games behind the Orioles. So they were playing the Orioles, and they were losing by two runs. And B.J. Ryan is pitching, and everybody there, he was as tough a left-on-left -left guy in that decade as there was. David Ortiz is down to his last strike, and he hits, I mean, that ball was hit so hard. You know, the bleachers at center field. And it, it was, I can't ever remember being, sitting there during a day game at Fenway Park and hearing it go crazier. I had about a 40-minute walk home, and I think 30 minutes there, they were still playing Dirty Water like 30 minutes later and over <laughs> and over. And I could hear it all the way going across the riverway and everything trying to go home. But I also was lucky enough to be in 2013 after, uh, after the marathon bombing. Um, they had a tremendous ceremony on a Saturday at Fenway Park. And I was doing some stuff for Nesson. I was in the dugout. I was down at the end where they were going to go up the, you know, each player went up the steps and went out on the field. And all of a sudden, out of the blue, Poppy runs down to me and he goes, that kid they killed, he was eight years old. He's the same age as my son. I'm not going to add in a lot of the, the other words, but he, he was getting himself revved. He wasn't supposed to speak that day. Hmm. And he got out there, grabbed the microphone, and when he said that, you know, this is our city, um, it, it meant so much to that city. I think it was more emotional about the city of Boston because of what the marathon meant, what all that tragedy meant. That passion, I think, is really the thing that pe most people remember most, that, yeah, he was our city. I mean, it, it's hard for athletes to do that. And <laughs> I was I'm wondering, Joe, a couple of days later, that, well, what about the language? I, nobody cares about the language. He said what every single person in New England wanted to say, yeah. and he did it for them, and they and they never forgot it. And and uh, it was funny after they beat Toronto, um, I mean, excuse me, Tampa in the playoffs. I'm walking back to my hotel, going over the David Ortiz Bridge, and a bunch of college kids started screaming, "This is our bleeping bridge!" And I thought this will never die in this city.